Hello chosen ones. I hope you all are having a blessed and happy peaceful day. I want to talk to you all today about the will of God. You know a lot of us may be confused about it. You know well some of us at least you know really don't understand the meaning of the will of God. So I'm going to read um, Jeremiah 29 11 for you all. But before I read this scripture, I just wanted to let you all know that the will of God is not going to cause you any type of torment, any type of hurt, harm, danger, pain. If you're feeling anything like that or you're experiencing anything like that, it is not from God. It is not the will of God for your life. That's what you need to know because... A lot of people seem to confuse it, you know, and they think when bad things are going on in their life, it is from God, but it is not from God. And so in 29, Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, for I know, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope, a future and a hope. He wants to prosper us. We were put here in this earth to prosper. Anything less than prospering is not of God. It's not of God. If you are experiencing anything less than that, it's not from God. Because he didn't put us here for, it, for that. He didn't put us here to be in pain, to be, you know, in torment, to be in negativity thoughts running in our head to have negative thoughts running in our head none of that is his plan for our lives in order to not experience those things we have to keep god first we have to keep him first there is no way around it there is no way around it because when you decide to go your own way that's where all this other stuff happened, like the distractions and things that comes along in your life, the torment. That's where it comes from. The pain, the hurt, the doubt, the anxiety, the stress. I mean, it's a whole list of things that happen to us when we decide on our own selves and our own minds not to follow god's plan for our life his will for our life i'm gonna go to another scripture um i'm gonna go to matthew 6 uh matthew 6 33 my favorite my favorite one of my favorite scriptures and it is you shall seek the kingdom of god first and all those things will be added to you. Everything. Everything will be added to you. Whatever you need. It will be added to you. And as long as you keep God first. It will be added to you. Don't you all never forget that. You must keep God first. In order to receive. Your blessings. Everything that God has for you. In order for you to receive it. You have to keep God first. Matt through. 6.33 Seek God first. I'll give you all one more scripture. One more scripture. This one is in Hebrews. And it is Hebrews 11 verse 3. By faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. So, what that means is everything in this world that exists is in the spiritual realm. Is in the spiritual realm. So, when we want things, we have to pull it from the spiritual realm. We have to pull it from the spiritual realm. If you want it the right way, if you want it the right way. Yes, we can get things. We can get things. We can go and buy a car, a house, and, and whatever you want to do. But 
pull it from the spiritual realm. Pull it from your spirit. Pull it from the spirit. Pull it from God's will. And you will get your heart's desire. You will have your heart's desire with no turmoil, no pain, no hurt, no danger if you do it God's way. If you do it God's way. And once again, the will for your life is to prosper. It's to prosper. God has plans for us to prosper in life. To have peace in life. So you seek his face first. Seek his face. And his righteousness. The kingdom of God. And all those things will be added to you. And that is my word for today. For today. The will of God is to prosper you. Is to not harm you. Is to give you peace. A future and a hope. A future. A future and a hope. So when you are not lacking those things, when you are lacking those things, I'm sorry, in your life, it is not from God. And don't never get forget that it is not from God. Because God is love. God is peace. God is joy. God is happiness. God wants to prosper us. God wants to give us the desires of our heart. But we must keep him first. Keep him first. Seek first the kingdom of God. And all these things shall be added to you. You all have a blessed day.